Hello friends, welcome to Talent Sprint and I hope all of you are doing well and preparing well for your exams. So today we are going to discuss the fourth week of September current affairs that is from 23rd September to 30th September and just like other week, this week also we have lot of important current affairs bits. It's related to sports, newly appointments, books and important dates, right? So what I will do, I will represent all the questions one by one. So now I am going to share my screen. So the first question here, who has been appointed as brand ambassador by Madhya Pradesh government to promote the state's tradition and tourist places? And the answer here is, it's TV actor Govinda. So what's the capital of Madhya Pradesh? It's Bhopal. Who is the chief minister? Kamal Nath and governor is Lalji Tandon. Now the next question, the ICC has inked an agreement with Facebook under which the social media platform will get exclusive digital content rights for cricket matches in India's subcontinent. So who is the chief executive officer of ICC? And the answer is, it's Manu Sahani. Now the next question, who received the MP Billa Memorial Award 2019 for his contribution to the world of cosmology? And the answer here is, it's Thanu Padmanavan. And this award is established in the year 1993 and this is given to give the recognition in excellence in research in space science, at astrophysics, astronomy and related areas. Now the next question, payment technology company Visa signed up with Dash as its brand ambassador for another two years and the answer here is it's PV Shindu and apart from PV Shindu if you look at the option the first one is Madhuri Dixit and she has been chosen as goodwill ambassador by the chief electoral officer in Maharashtra to create awareness among the people regarding voting. Now the next question. Who become the first woman officer from Arunachal Pradesh to be elevated to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel in Indian Army? And the answer here is, it's Ponung Doming. So who is the Chief of Army Staff? It's General Bipin Rawat. Now the next question, who won the Skolkova Fights Grand Prix title 2019 held in Russia? And the answer here is, it's Hampi Koneru. So the chess grandmaster Humpi Kanuru belongs to Andhra Pradesh and he has defeated Wen Junju of China. He has defeated of China. Now the next question. World's biggest transport spaceship for space station has been launched by which country? And the answer here is it has been launched by Japan. So what's the capital of Japan? It's Tokyo. Currency is Japanese yen. And who is the Prime Minister? It's Shinjo Abe. Now the next question. Which bank has also been barred from making fresh loans and taking deposits? And the answer here is, it's Punjab and Maharashtra Cooperative Bank. So the RBI has imposed this restriction on Punjab and Maharashtra Cooperative Bank under which the depositors cannot withdraw more than 1000 rupees from their account. But what happened recently again RBI has revised its limits. It has announced to 40,000 which was earlier 25,000. And also this has been barred from taking fresh loans and uh, keeping deposits. And this curve will remain for another 6 months. And who is the governor of RBI? It's Saktikan Das. And apart from him, there are like three deputy governors. One is MK Jain, the second one is BP Kanungo, and the third one is NS Vishwanathan. Now the next question here, who was appointed as the next ambassador of India to Republic of Guinea-Bissau? And the answer here is, it's Godavarit Venkat Srinivasa. And he will succeed Partha Satpati. And who is the president of Guinea-Bissau? It's Jos Mario Vaz. The president and Aristides Gom is the prime minister. The prime minister. 
and what is the currency it's west african franc now we'll move to the next question the indian space research organization initiated das an early warning system in space to detect the debris and other hazards to indian satellites and the answer here is it's project netra so where is the headquarter of isro it is in bangalore and who is the head of isro k7 now the next question India's first indigenous high temperature fuel cell system has been developed by DAS and the answer here is it has been developed by a council of scientific and industrial research now the next question world hindu economic forum 2019 held in which city and it was held in mumbai so mumbai is the capital of maharashtra So who is the chief minister of Maharashtra is Devendra Fadnavis governor is Bhagat Singh Koshyari and what is the theme of this world hindu economic forum it's prosperous society and stronger society this is the theme of this world hindu economic forum and what is the intention behind conducting this to bring all together all the financially successful members in hindu society such as like traders bankers technocrats investors or industrialists to share their business knowledge with the others now the next question who has owned the wta huhan open held in huhan of china and the answer here is it's arena savalenka now the next question who has won the men's single title at the atp challenges tournament held in buenos aires of argentina and the answer here is it's sumit nagal so india sumit nagal has defeated argentina's facundo bogdis he has defeated Facundo Bognis and he belongs to Argentina Now the next question who unveiled the centralized public grievances redress and monitoring system reforms in department of post in New Delhi and the answer here is it Jitendra Singh Now the next question the Reserve Bank of India has put which bank under prompt corrective action framework due to high bad loans and insufficient capitals and the answer here is it's Lakshmi Vilas Bank so where is the head office of Lakshmi Vilas Bank it's in Chennai and who is the MD and CEO it's Partha Sarathi Mukherjee Now the next question who on the Russian Grand Prix 2019 and the answer here is it's Lewis Hamilton Now the next question who on the men's singles title at Korea Open badminton tournament and the answer here is it's Kento Momota Now the next question who honored with the 28th Saraswati Samman for the creation of his famous poetry collection that is Pakaki Uthi Gilithe in Telugu in 2018 and the answer here is is Dr K Shivaradi Now the next question who among these has won 2019 Punya Bhushan award and the answer here is it has been won by Dr J V Digulkar and this archaeologist dr gb digulkar was conferred with the prestigious punyavushan award for his long outstanding contribution to the field of indian archaeology and what does this punyavushan means in marathi it is mean jewel of pune and this award has been instituted by pune based on punyavushan foundation 
Now the next question, which airport was named as the best airport in 5 to 15 million passenger category in terms of services it offered to the passenger as per the airport council international? And the answer here is, it's Cochin International Airport Limited. So as per the annual report service quality survey conducted by the ACI that is Airport Council International, Kochi International Airport Limited ranked amongst the best airport. Now the next question, Dash Metro will be named after Indian King Raja Bhose and it will be called as Bhose Metro and the answer here is it's Bhopal. So Bhopal is the capital of Madhya Pradesh. Now the next question, Defense Research and Development Organization signed a memorandum of understanding with which university to set up a processing center called Kalam Center for Science and Technology. And the answer here is, it's Central University of Jammu. Now the next question, which state has unveiled a mascot named Tiki Mousy to spread the public awareness about child and women's nutrition and their development? And the answer here is, it has been unveiled by Odisha. So this Tiki Mousy will also give the information about the various services like Sakhi centers and schemes like Mamata, Biju Sishu Surakhya Yojana. And these programs with the active help of Panchayat representatives and women self-help groups. Now the next question, who was appointed as the Vice Chief of Indian Air Force? And the answer here is Air Marshal H.S. Arora. And this Air Marshal H.S. Arora will replace R.K.S. Bhadoria. Now the next question, who topped in the United World Wrestling ranking in the 86th category? And the answer here is, it has been talked by Deepak Punia. Now the next question, which Indian company has won United Nations Global Climate Action Award? And the answer here is, it's Infosys. Now the next question, which state won the Best State Award in Nations Tourism Award 2017-18? And it has been owned by Andhra Pradesh. Now the next question, joint military exercise that is Kazin 2019 has held between India and Daesh at Pithoragar of Uttarakhand from 2nd to 15 October 2019. And the answer here is, it's Kazakhstan. So this exercise is the fourth edition. This is the fourth edition. And who is the Prime Minister of Kazakhstan? That is Aksar Mamin. Aksar Mamin is the Prime Minister. And what is the capital? It's Noor Sultan. And currency is Tenge. Now the next question. Who is the head of Economic Advisor Council to the Prime Minister? And the answer here is, is Bibek Debroy. Now the next question, who is the author of the book Reset, Regaining India's Economy Legacy? And the answer here is, it's Subramanyam Swami. Now the next question here, Dash, a comic book series has been unveiled by the ICE Ministry to make children aware of the importance of medicinal plants and their use for home remedies. And the answer here is, it's Professor Ayushman. And this book will raise awareness among the children about the importance of medicinal plants. And who is the Ministry of State of Ministry of Ayus? It's Sripat Yeso Nayak. Now the next question, which company topped the list of 75 most valued brands in India according to the report by WPP and Kantar Millward Brown? And the answer here is, it's HGFC Bank. 
Now the next question, which bank has recently launched preventive vigilance portal to check the procedural labs and promote good practices? And the answer here is, it's Punjab National Bank. So what is the headquarter of Punjab National Bank? It's in New Delhi. And who is the CEO? It's Sunil Mehta. And he will be replaced by Malikarjun Roy. S S Malikarjun Rao. Now the next question here. Who among the following take over as the chairman of Chief of Staff Commission? And the answer here is, is General Bipin Rawat. Now the next question, the president of Athletics Federation of India Dash, who was re-elected as the member of the Council of the International Association of Athletic Federation for a second term for another four years. And the answer here is, it's Adile Sumariwala. Now the next question, KPS Menon passed away recently was a DAS and he was the former foreign secretary and he was Indian foreign service officer in, that is from 1951 batch and he served as an ambassador to various countries including Bangladesh, Egypt, Japan and China. Now the next question, who won the Mrs. India Pride of the Nation 2019 title? And the answer here is, it's Pooja Desai. Now the next question, who among the following was the Emmy Award winner passed away recently? And the answer is, it's J. Michael. He was the Emmy Award winner who passed away recently and apart from that if you look at other options the first option is given Jacques Chirac and he was the former French president who passed away and the third option is given Venu Madhav he was a Telugu actor who passed away and the fourth option is given Robert S. Boyd who is an American journalist and Pulitzer Prize winner he also passed away now the next question where is the headquarter of international campaign to abolish nuclear weapons and the answer here is it is located in Geneva now the next question what was India's rank in the IMD world digital competitiveness ranking 2019 and the answer is it's 44 so in this IMD World Digital Competitive Ranking Index 2019 US has topped the rank followed by Singapore and how did how did they examine this based upon the three factors those are the knowledge the capacity to understand and learn the new technology and the second one is technology the competence to develop new digital innovation and the third one is future readiness that is how much preparedness for the upcoming developments now the next question, who appointed as the first woman president of Tamil Nadu Cricket Association? And the answer here is, it's Rupa Gurunath. The next question here, who has been honored with the National Tourism Award for the category of Best Tourist Guide for year 2017 to 18 during the celebration of the World Tourism Day? And the answer here is, it's Tappan Kumar Mishra. And he hails from Orissa. He is a freelancer tourist guide approved by the Union Ministry of Tourism. Now the next question. Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced how much amount for community development projects in the grouping of Caribbean nation. And the answer here is it's 14 million dollar. Now the next question. Who occupied the second place in the list of richest Indians as per the IIFL Wealth Hurun Indian Rich List 2019? And the answer here is it's SP Hinduza Group and Family. And this has been taught by Mukesh Sambani who is the chairman of Reliance Industry. Now the next question. Which city will host the 5th Indian International Science Festival in 2019 from November 5th to November 8th? And the answer here is, it is going to be hosted by Kolkata. 
and this is the fifth edition of Indian International Science Festival and who is the Ministry of Science and Technology is Harshvardhan. Now the next question here which state has launched a housing loan subsidy scheme named Apnara Apan Ghar to provide financial assistance on purchase or construction of the first house for a family and the answer here is it's Assam. So this scheme is meant for the loan sanction in this financial year and the subsidies of up to 2,50,000 will be provided for the loan amount from 5 lakh to 40 lakhs and the, what is the Assam capital? It's this poor. And who is the chief minister? It's Sarbanan Sonowal and governor is Jagdish Mukhi. Now the next question here, the Asian Development Bank lowered India's growth rate forecast from 7.2% to DAS for current fiscal and the answer here is it's 6.5%. Now the next question, Pankaj Advani and Aditya Mehta pair own the IBSF World Snooker Team event held in which country and it was held in Myanmar. So India defeated Thailand in this team event. Now the next question, who has appointed as the new head of the International Monetary Fund? And the answer here is, is Kristalina Georgieva. Now the next question, who was re-elected as the president of the International Association of Athletics Federation that is IAAF? And the answer here is, it's Sebastian Koi. Now the next question, who has been appointed as the chairman of the Association of Mutual Funds in India? And the answer here is, it's Nilesh Shah. The Association of Mutual Funds in India is an industry standards organization in India and it was formed in the year 1995 and headquarters is located in Mumbai. And here Nilesh Shah, he will replace Managing Director and CEO of ICC Prudential Asset Management that is Nimesh Shah. So he is going to replace Nimesha. Now the next question, who was awarded as the change maker award by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation? And the answer here is, it's Pyle Jangid. And she is just 17 years old, belongs to Rajasthan and she become the first Indian to receive this change maker award 2019 at the goalkeepers award goals award and she was awarded for her work towards the abolition of child marriage in her village and other neighboring areas. Now the next question, who among the following named the winners of the Right Livelihood Award also known as Alternative Novel? And the answer here is, it's Greta Thunberg. Now the next question, who will be awarded for the Sastra Ramanujan Prize for the year 2019? And the answer here is, it's Adam Harper. And he is a mathematician. And this award is conferred annually on mathematicians from across the world who are less than 32 years of age. And Adam Harper is an assistant professor with the University of Warwick of England. Now the next question, Haza Ali Al Mansuri become the first astronaut from which country launched to the International Space Station in Russia? Now the next question here, Haza Ali Al Mansuri become the first astronaut from which country launched to the International Space Station in Russian Soyuz rocket in Kazakhstan? And the answer here is, it's UAE. Now the next question, which Indian company ranked at the third in Forbes annual list of the world's best regarded companies 2019? And the answer here is, it's Infosys. Now the next question, where did President Ramnath Kovind inaugurated the sixth India Water Week 2019 being organized with the theme of water cooperation coping with the 21st century challenge? And the answer here is, it's in New Delhi. Now the next question, 
Which state become the first state in the country to issue highest number of golden cards under Aishman Bharat Pradhan Mantri Jan Arug Yojana? And the answer here is it's Jammu and Kashmir. So who is the governor of Jammu Kashmir? It's Satyapal Malik. Now the next question, who has conferred Dada Sahib Falke Award 2019 which is the country's highest film honor? And the answer is it's Amitabh Bachchan. So this is country's highest film honor. So Dada Sahib Falke Award was introduced in the year 1969 and it is given to commemorate the father of Indian cinema. So who is the father of Indian cinema? It's Dundiraz Govind Falke. Dundiraj Govind Falke. So based upon his name, they are giving this award. Now the next question. The 16th Global SME Business Summit 2019 was held in which city? And it was held in New Delhi. Now the next question, who received the first Gauri Lankes Memorial Award in Bangalore? And the answer here is, it's Ravish Kumar. Now the next question, in which of these cities has the Prime Minister Narendra Modi recently inaugurated the Gandhi Solar Park and Gandhi Peace Garden? And the answer is, it's in New York. Now the next question, the 2019 United Nations Climate Action Summit was organized in which city? And it was organized again in New York. Now the next question, the Ministry of Science and Technology has recently launched the UMMID initiative to prevent which of these diseases? And the answer here is, it's genetic disorder diseases. Now the next question, CBDT has launched the National E-Assessment Center in New Delhi for the faceless and nameless assessment of income taxpayers. So who has been appointed as the chief of this National E-Assessment Center? And the answer here is, it's K.M. Prashad. Now the next question, who appointed as the Managing Director and CEO of Federal Bank? And the answer here is, it's Syam Srinivasan. Now the next question, who owned the Formula 1 Singapore Airlines that is Singapore Grand Prix 2019 held at Marina Bay Street Circuit, Singapore? And the answer here is, it's Sebastian Vettel. Now the next question, who owned the 2019 FIFA Women's Player of the Year Award? And the answer here is, it's Megan Rapinoe. Now the next question, who is the winner of the 2019 FIFA Men's Player of the Year Award? And answer is, it's Lionel Messi. Now the next question, which Indian state has won three awards in Pacific Asia Travel Association that is Sparta Awards for the year 2019 that was held in Noor Sultan of Kazakhstan? And the answer here is, it's Kerala. Now the next question, the first tri-services exercise code named Tiger Trump between India and which country is set to hold at Bishakapatnam and Kakinada in November of this year? And the answer here is, it's USA. And this is for the first time the US and India will be holding this tri-service military exercise. Now the next question, the United Nations observed DASH every year as the International Day for the Total Elimination of Nuclear Weapons. And the answer here is, it's on 26th of September. And this is all about to educate the public and their leaders about the real benefits of eliminating such weapons and social and economic costs. So where is the headquarter of United Nations? It's New York. And it was established in the year 1949. And who is the Secretary General of United Nations? It's Antony Guterres and he belongs to Portugal. Now the next question. Every year the World Maritime Day is observed on DAS and it is observed on 26th of September. And this year the theme of this day is empowering women in the maritime community. 
Now the next question here Tourism and Jobs A Better Future for All is the theme of 2019 World Tourism Day. So which is celebrated every year on DAS and it is celebrated every year on 27th of September. And the theme of this Tourism Day is Tourism and Jobs A Better Future for All. Now the next question. The first edition of Ayushman Bharat Divas was celebrated on which day? and it was celebrated on 23rd of September. Now the next question, World Environmental Health Day observed on which day? And it is observed on 26th of September. Next question, International Day for Universal Access to Information was observed on DAS. It is observed on 28th of September. And what is the theme of this year's celebration? Leaving no one behind. This is the theme of this year's celebration. Now the next question. The World Health Organization observes World Rabbit's Day on this every year. And the answer here is, it is on 28th of September. So where is the headquarter of WHO? It is in Geneva of Switzerland. And who is the Director General? It's Tedros Adhanom. Now the next question. United Nations observes International Translation Day on DASH. And it is observed on 30th of September. Now the next question. World Heart Day was observed annually on DASH across the world. And the answer here is, it is observed on 29th of September. Now the next question, the International Coastal Cleanup Day is celebrated annually on which day of September and it is celebrated on the third Saturday of September. And with this question, we have come to the end of the session. We covered all the important bits from this week. We'll meet next week with the first week of October current affairs and monthly current affairs from the month of September. So keep reading and stay tuned. Thank you.